Hey guys, it's Ted Bogard. Welcome back. This is our Solar Truths series here on the Ted Show, and I'm with I'm with my dear friend, the one and only Solar Man, Manny Garcia with American Clean Energy Solar. Uh, we've partnered up. Manny is educating us. He is giving us the 411, the real 411, with a lot of integrity, nothing but integrity, and the real truth about what's going on. Welcome, Manny. How are you today? Fantastic, Ted. Thank you again for having me on the show. Excited to be here. I'm so excited. I love this topic. I'm all about sustainability. I want to learn more about solar, and you have done such a great job of educating me, and I want everyone to know what I know. So that's the whole point of this series, is to educate everyone, to give them the solar truths about what's going on, because there's a lot of misinformation out there, and there's a lot of uh, information to try to maneuver through. It's very can be very confusing, but we live in the sunshine state, so we want to get the information out. How much better could you be placed other than Florida? So let's talk about it. Give them a little 411 on American Clean Energy Solar, and then our topic today is how much can you save by switching to solar? Well, absolutely. Absolutely. So um, the first thing I want people to know is that, you know, the reason I got into solar was because I was a consumer just like uh, most people. Right. We're a homeowner uh, looking looking for ways to save some money, looking some for some ways to improve uh, my property value. And I started doing some research in solar. And I got to tell you, I fell in love with it. And I highly suggest um, even if you don't go solar, you know, learn a little bit about renewable energy. Learn a little bit about solar because it's it's a beautiful industry. It's a beautiful product that really does work when done properly. Um, but, you know, when I was going through my own process, I realized after having multiple companies come to my home um, that there was just, again, everybody was all over the place, right? Prices were all over the place, all kinds of different equipment, uh, all kinds of different size systems. And I said, wait a second, you know, there's no uniformity here. Uh, some people were great at really educating others were just trying to you know rush me through into a deal you know try to close me right um and i decided to take some time and to learn this industry and i fell in love with it and now you know i'm a, I'm a part owner in a company that now offers you know solar systems right so um and what we're going to be talking about today which is the savings is really what got me motivated and inspired to to jump into this business number one there's a demand for it number two um when you take a look at the numbers, it's a no-brainer. It really is a no-brainer. You know, um, it's funny, right? Because we had a conversation earlier. Uh, some somebody said, you know, well, if it sounds too good to be true, then it must be too good to be true. And I would say um, that that's eighty percent accurate, right? <laughs> you know, in yeah. most in most cases, we do hear that. But I just, I all I encourage is if you are semi decent with numbers, dive into it, do your own research, look at the numbers and it's just an incredible value proposition. It's one of the few things that we can actually do for ourselves where we can regain control, especially right now during these crazy times of inflation, you know, um, and, and we'll look at some of the numbers here and this is a real case study and, and I'll show you and the viewers exactly how they can learn how to see what they're actually paying right now with the utility company compared to what the cost would be with any it. solar company. So yeah. Love it. Let's do it. Let's do um, it. Okay. So do you want to dive into um, a bill? Let's just look yes, at bring it on up. Let's All do right. it. Uh, let's I think what's important while Manny's doing that is you do have to do your own research, but you also have to go with your gut. I think it's a great idea to talk when you are talking with a consultant, a solar consultant, you want to do your vetting of the company. You want to uh, look at what they do, how they do it. Because I'm going to tell you that when I was looking at it before, I had no idea who I could trust. This is before Manny. Uh, and I feel like that is what is so critical. We're missing out on that uh, opportunity because I believe that there are, like in any industry, uh, some crazy people out there. And because, like you have mentioned before, we are unregulated. And so anybody and their brother can get out there and say they're selling solar and put together a really pretty presentation, but you really need to understand the meat of it. And you need to do your research and feel good. So let me add this uh, to the stream here. All right, what do we have, Manny? All right, so the first thing that I want to I want to say is, um, you know, this is in no way, shape, or form, you know, meant to 
uh, talk bad about Duke or any energy company, right? They, their business, they're, they are a for-profit business and, you know, they, they have to charge money, right? Um, but this is an actual Duke bill. Um, and actually, Ted, you know what? I just realized we're gonna we're gonna have to edit this, and I'll do that because it's showing the uh, the actual customer's name. I don't want to. Oh, geez. That. Okay, no problem. I don't want to do that. So we're gonna we'll trim this. Okay. Let me do this. Let me save this. Let me save this as. Yeah, I don't want to put his business out there. So let's see here. No problemo. Go into the desktop, and then we'll change it to gives Duke. Me a, gives me a chance to have a sip of my martini. <laughs> I'm jealous. I want a little oh, chocolate dude. martini. You know me. They bought me a martini. I was like, I'm sure. Apparently, my liver and you are best friends right now. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to save this to documents. Yeah, I want to be very cautious not to put people's uh, business out there. So this is this guy uses so much power. It's ridiculous. Okay. Perfect. Ours too. Uh, okay. Do you want me to? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to close this window. And okay. I'll add it to the stream when you're ready. Documents. We're going to open this one here and now that's perfect. Okay, great. And now let me share, right? I got to reshare my screen. Stop sharing. I got to share screen, share screen. And we're going to go here. All right, perfect. Okay. All right. We are, are you ready for the next one. Yeah, we we're good. Yep. Okay, here we go. All right. So what you want to do is, you, you know, again, pull up your, your own energy bill and take a look at exactly what you're paying for. Right. You're going to see a bunch of different charges. Um, I don't really want to go into all these details here right now, but you're going to see two charges, depending on how much energy you're consuming, two charges on your energy charge, two charges on your fuel charges. Basically, um, all, all that's really happening here is you're getting penalized to use more power. Right. So once you go over, in this case, one thousand kilowatt hours, then you're paying a premium. And although this looks a little, a little it looks like a, a penny, you know, you know, a penny difference. It's actually, you know, significant. Right? If you take um, 9.337 divided by 10.487, um, it's about an 11 percent premium that you're paying to use more power. But the idea here is to learn how much you're actually paying per kilowatt. So if you take your total kilowatt hours for your billing period, and in this case, it's twenty nine eighty. OK. And you take your bill, you got to add up all your charges. So this is uh, 451 plus $6 plus 11 plus $48 in taxes. So that's 516 bucks, right? right? And you divide it by your kilowatt hours that you've consumed divided by 2980. In this case, this, this person is paying 17.3 cents per kilowatt, okay? Now by switching over to solar, um, the average cost per kilowatt when you switch over to solar is anywhere between 10 and 12 cents, depending on your roof type, depending on uh, how your roof is positioned uh, and how much sun exposure it gets. So if you just do the math, right, if you say uh, 11 cents divided by 17 cents, uh, that is a, let's say, 40 percent discount. So by, by switching over to solar, this wow. person will save about 40% per month. And it adds up really, really quickly. Let me, let me show you an actual case study. Okay, this is somebody else in Winter Garden. Um, this person was paying an average of $4,200 per month with Duke Energy. Okay? Jeez. Um, so if you take 4,200 divided by 12, that's 350 bucks, right? That's not, that's, that's about an average utility bill. Okay. Right. So that's $4,200 a year. Now this particular customer had some cash laying around and right now, because of the way inflation is, he's losing money by having the money in the bank, right? He's losing eight, 9% of his money. So instead we're going to take the money and we're going to put it into his solar system. Now he's going to pay $43,000 for his, for his solar system after his tax credit, right? Right. But he no longer pays Duke. He now pays himself. This person now basically becomes their own utility company. So if you take what they would have paid Duke and now knowing that they don't have that cost, 4,200 divided by the cost of a system, 43,623, that's a 9.6% return on his money. Okay, now obviously this is somebody who has cash, is somebody who's not financing the system, but instead of having, again, cash in the bank, you know, losing eight, 9% because of inflation, 
now they're turning that around and they're they're investing into their own renewable energy source and now they're actually making uh, a return off of their investment that's why it's called an itc by the way investors tax credit so the irs gives people an investor tax credit when they invest into renewable energies and solar is one of those things now in this if this person would have gone um with loan with a loan um this is what they were currently paying duke right 350 dollars a month and just to switch over there's no out-of-pocket expense if they did financing 100 percent of their system would um get financed um and once everything's installed, they stop paying Duke and now they pay themselves. Now, full disclosure, this payment here also includes a customer service fee. So regardless, if you have a solar system big enough to cover 100% of your bill, you're still going to have to pay Duke 30 bucks a month regardless. Okay. Right. Um, so this payment of 269 includes them paying their solar and also the 30 bucks. So if we just do the math, they, they're saving an average of 23% instantly per month. Okay. Including the customer service fee that Duke is imposing on them. Now here's the benefit. We all know what inflation does. This, this is just based at, at a 3% inflation rate in 10 years. If you're paying 350 right now in 10 years, you're going to be paying $518 a month. That's the equivalent with 3% inflation. Imagine seven, eight, nine, 10% inflation, like the way we're seeing it right now. The good thing about solar is your payment is your payment. Your payment doesn't change. You're still paying 269, right? Um, in 25 years, if you kept doing the utility company thing at a normal 3% inflation rate, 518 becomes 933 bucks a month with the, with the energy company. By then, you've had your solar system paid off. Now, you're still tied to the grid. We estimate that the 30 bucks that you're paying today as a customer service fee with inflation will be about 78 bucks in 25 years. So instead of paying $933 a month, then you're only paying 78 bucks a month. OK, now in this case scenario, this customer would have paid Duke one hundred and fifty three thousand dollars doing exactly what they're doing right now with solar, including all of the customer service charges with Duke. They're paying ninety three thousand. They're saving sixty thousand dollars over the course of twenty five years. And they also have a fifteen thousand dollar tax credit that they took advantage of the second year after they installed it. So there's um there's a lot of benefits to owning. Um, what you want to do is you want to figure out what is your total yearly cost after switching over to solar. OK, and then you're going to take the amount of kilowatt hours that you're consuming. You take that number that you're going to be and it's a little technical. I know this is a, this might go over somebody's head here. That's all right. That's why we're going to have people can ask questions later. That's right. So, again, just take what your total cost of your solar system would be divided by your kilowatt hours. And then you'll see you right now, if you're paying 17 cents through Duke, like this customer was. And now if you're paying 10 cents, then there's a massive savings in there. It's it's just there's so much good that comes out of you being able to do this. Like most of us, we recycle. Right. So we ha we've been we've sort of been trained that we want to do something sus sustainable, that we can help the environment, that we can save the planet. Right. So even if you're not one of those people, the savings on your bill overall uh, and what you're able to do, because I feel like my house, for example, um, gosh, we're 1960 ranch house. God, what a nightmare dealing, not dealing with the energy company, but the cost was just insane. I couldn't keep enough insulation in there to make it so that the bill was what I would consider truly affordable. Uh, now I get to um, not only reduce at some point my bill, but I also get to I get to build up sustainability. I get to give back. And that's sort of how I feel. And I think a lot of people, even that younger generation, they're like I'm, I'm doing good for the world. Uh, but this show is about how much money you can save. And Manny did a phenomenal job showing you, you bottom line people. Uh, for me, I need a Manny and a Stacy, who's my wife in my life, because bottom line is not great for me. I'm the big ideas guy. And so I love to be able to see those numbers there. And to be able to trust somebody to get me there. So, um, what's the best way, Manny? They can find us. I have I have a nice little QR code showing right now, right? That's right. So um, I know I know we got a little bit technical before we talk about that again, just to give uh, a, a, an average perspective out there again in terms of like how much money somebody can save. I would say that depending again on your home and your sun exposure and if you need a new roof and all that, you're looking at anywhere between 20 and 50% savings. It's, it's, to me, so, it's huge. Any savings is a big deal. 
And I know that the savings is long term, too. Um, your energy bill is going to continue to go up, up, up and up. Um, with everything that's going on economy wise, you're going to see a lot of shrinkage on the mon money side. So how amazing is it to have um, an energy source that you're eventually going to see your bill go down? You're going to see your bill go down and you're going to have that savings. And that is what this particular show is about. So we've got the QR code. We've got the website. Manny's. Oh, that's my little thing. You'll have to edit out. Absolutely. Manny <laughs> is always here and available for uh, consult. And of course, you can always ask me. I am here to help and educate. But Manny's really the pro. And that is why I feel so good, completely confident in working with Manny, because I feel like this is where the future is but you want to attach yourself and work with a company that has your best interest at heart. And that's what American clean energy solar does. So where do we reach you, Manny? If it's not me, it's not my QR code. How can they find you? Yeah. So they can reach me at 407-437-8248, or you guys can email us directly at lower my bill at American clean energy solar.com. All right. Go. And we'll be back next week with another topic on solar. And if you guys have questions in between, reach out to me, comment here. Uh, if it's a question that we think we can just make a, a whole show about, we will. We just want to educate you. We want you to be informed. What you do with that is up to you, but we want you to be informed by a company that has actually got your best interest at heart. All right, Manny, thank you so much. We'll see you guys back here next week on the Solar Truths. Bye, everybody.